how do we find the mass percent of magnesium and chlorine in magnesium chloride? Well, it turns out it's a very simple two-step process. First, we're going to find the total mass, then we find those percents. Watch. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements I see in the compound. So we've got magnesium, we got chlorine. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript down there, just put in a one. So there's one magnesium, two chlorine. Then we're going to multiply each of those number of atoms by the mass of the particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So mass of magnesium is 24.31. Chlorine is going to be 35.45. And that's what we're going to write in. So 24.31 for magnesium, 35.45 for chlorine. And then simply to find the total mass of the element now, you're simply going to multiply the row on a cross. So the total mass of magnesium is going to be 24.31 units of mass. And then for chlorine here, it's going to be 70.90. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, simply just add this column up, and it works out to be 95.21. And there you have it, right? The total mass of the compound, that's what we had to calculate first. I'm gonna add a column now to the table to help us calculate the percentages. Bam, so to find the mass percent of magnesium, we're gonna take the total amount of magnesium here, so 24.31, and then divide it by the total mass of the compound, hence why we had to do that first, so 95.21. Don't worry about the units because they're gonna cancel. But then when we get this fraction, we've got to multiply it by 100 to get it into a percent, all right? So that's simply going to be 25.53 percent, all right? And that's all there is to it. Same thing for chlorine now. Take the total amount of chlorine, 70.90, divided by the total of the entire compound, multiply that by 100, and we're going to find the percent here is going to be 74.47. Cool, the way the numbers kind of worked out there, right? 74472553, well, I guess because of the rounding. Yeah, what are you going to do? Anyway, I'm not really sure what I'm saying at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll just continue. When you add up those percentages, it should equal 100, all right? And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the mass percents of magnesium and chlorine in magnesium chloride. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.